So I'm going to start with rows going to be input dot char at zero. Now that gives me the letter A, B, or C. Now that's the ASCII value. So if I go look at the ASCII chart, I have a lowercase a, b, or c here, probably. That's a number 97, 98, or 99. And I need to change that so that it fits in my grid. So I'm going to need to somehow convert those three numbers to 0, 1, and 2. So what I need to do is I'm going to subtract the letter a. You're allowed to do that with chars. It may seem strange, I know. And I'm going to change that into an int, because I require an int right here. So if I had a 97 or a lowercase a, I subtract a lowercase a, I get 0. Now I'm looking at the 0 spot. And what I need is a 0, 1, or 2. Now I should do the column. And that's going to be input.char at 1 minus the letter 1. I know it's weird to say a letter 1, but that's basically what a char is. Now I can do something with this particular grid square. In particular, what I'm going to want to do is actually, so let's see, grid, I think I'm going to do columns first, so going across, and then do row. And for now, I'm going to set that to be a 1, which eventually is going to be an x value. Regardless of what happens here, I should probably print the board. So let me do that. I'm going to create a method called print board. His job is to be to actually print out the board. Now I haven't defined it yet, so I should do that down below. So basically I have to put it in between some other method. So I could put it after the public static void main or before it, just as long as it's within the class. The class ends here and starts up here, but isn't within another method. So sure, public. Print board is going to return nothing, because I'm just going to print things to system out. So that's void. And then I use the name that I just made up there. And it's got open and close parentheses. So here is where I'm going to actually print the board out. So to begin with, all I need to do is do like a tab, and then a 1, a tab, and a 2, so on. So I'm just going to do that. The way you do a tab is you use a backslash and a t. So I'm going to do a space, backslash t, 1, backslash t, 2, backslash t, 3. So if I run this, there's 1, 2, 3. It's waiting for input, notice. So if I say a1, there we go. All right, so next, I'm going to need to walk through my grid and actually print things out. So here's the tricky part. I've got to go through every single thing in my grid. This is probably going to require some loops to go through everything. So let me start with a loop. So I'm going to use a for loop. That's typically what we use for going from 0 through however many. So a equals 0, a is less than 3, a plus plus. This means that it start, a starts at 0. While it's less than 3, keep going. And when you reach the end of this for loop, add 1 to it. So I'm going to create another string, which I'm going to make call output. And I'm going to start that as a blank. Now what I need to do is walk across the row. Well, well, actually, I need to actually change the column. So this is going to be which row I'm in. I need to change the column. I'm actually going to use another for loop for this. I'm going to use the variable v. And now I'm going to do something with each and every grid cell. So if grid, let's see, b is going across, a is equal to a 0, which is going to be my blank. Output equals output plus a blank and a tab. Similarly, if this is a 1, I'm going to make this an x instead of a blank. And finally, if this is a 2, 
I'm going to set this to be an O. When I'm all done with this, I should actually print this out. Notice this is within this A loop, but it is outside of this loop here. So at the moment, since I've got all blanks, I'm not seeing anything. Let's try adding some things in. So let's set grid 2, 2 equal to a 2. And grid 1, 0 equal to a 1. There we go. So it's actually putting it in. Now all I need to do is the letters at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set output equal to the letter A plus this A value here, and then change that into a char when I'm all done. And add a tab to that. So the first time through, it'll be an A, because I'll add 0 to an A, and away we go. Then it'll be B, and then C. All right, we've got the beginnings of our game. We can print out the board. Now I've got to do something with the input.